everyone, this is HGJ Halloween, and today I am back with a pretty exciting video. Now you guys may notice that I'm not in my normal set, which is normally in the basement, but my brother's down there doing some hardcore gaming stuff. So, um, I just went out and purchased Tricycle Doll today, also with money from the channel, so I can't thank you guys enough for being here and giving me support. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already, join the family. But one thing you guys might notice right away is, look how big the Tricycle Doll's box is. Now I gotta uh, give thanks to my local uh, Spirit Halloween because they actually didn't have a tricycle doll, but they were so generous that they ended up uh, order taking this tricycle doll from the other local store and they had it shipped to them from there, so we were able to still get it today. Um, they didn't even ask them to do that, so super nice people at my local Spirit. But we're gonna go ahead, I haven't even opened this up at all yet, so we're gonna go ahead and open it up, but it is a super huge box. I mean, I was just comparing it to Menacing Molly's box and it's super big, but this is going to go into our um, our second hallway, our doll hallway. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out the uh, Hallway 2 concept art video. That will be probably, maybe linked in the description, it might not, depending on if I remember to link it. Well, it looks like I'm gonna need some scissors to get this open, but I can still go ahead and read through this clear plastic. This is Tricycle Doll's story, so even the smaller props come with a story. Many years ago, a family passed down a very sacred decoration piece. A little girl sitting on a tricycle with bright blue eyes that pierced through you. The family would fight over who, who would receive her next. I wouldn't want it, to be honest. But little did they know that this little girl was possessed. At night, they would hear a creaking of her tricycle wheels and a distant laugh. No one ever dared to check on the little, little girl, but every morning she would be in a different area of the house. This is some, like, Annabelle stuff. One day, they decided it was time to let her go, but she would always return without any warning. She loved the family she lived with for many, many years, and she refused to let them go. Okay, so that's one of the better stories, to be honest. This actually has a thing right here that you can easily open it. And also, sorry if you hear any background noise, but my mom's making some dinner right now, so hopefully that you guys can't really hear that too much on the mic. So here is her instructions. They're actually like not a laminated, they're just kind of like a regular sheet of paper, which is different. As far as I know, she has a super easy setup. I think David's TV already has her. And here is... You guys can see that. That's the story if you want to take a screenshot, some exclusive content for you guys. And we're just gonna go ahead and hop right into this. So this should be one of my easier uh, setup videos. So first of all, we have these two things right here. One of them was almost glued to the bottom. Sorry for that random cut right there, but my mom was worried about the paint supplies sitting right here. We normally don't have that there, but I don't think you guys probably even noticed it. And so here's the the bottom piece with the with the, the wheel. This thing is super cool, guys. It goes in a straight back and forth line. And it's in the bridge display if you guys haven't gotten a chance to go to your local spirit. But basically, it just goes back and forth, but they have it on like a little track thing so it can't go to its full distance so I'm kind of curious to see how far it goes. Now here's my least favorite part of the tricycle doll. The clothing I think looks really unprofessional and it looks obviously fake but she was gonna fit perfectly in the hallway so I wouldn't have gotten her if she didn't fit perfectly but here's the headpiece labeled C with the clothing as well. And then we're gonna keep going here. There's a little bit more at the bottom of this box. There's a lot of empty space, to be honest, in this box. Might put her into a smaller box because I don't know if I have enough space for all this in my storage room, but we'll see what we got. There's some cardboard. Something is in here. Oh, this is the module for the, the tricycle that makes it move and everything. Right here, it's this little box. So it looks kind of weird because like what kind of tricycle has a box at the back, but they kind of had to do that. So it has all of the mechanical parts and pieces in there. So I'm pretty sure that's it for the, oh, 
Here's another thing. They're like glued onto here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. These these uh, things right here, they come glued on. I don't know if that's a... I don't even think that's a part of it, to be honest, guys. I think that... Yeah, I think this was just to protect pieces uh, that came with it. So that's kind of strange, but we'll figure that out in a second. And I'll go ahead and show you guys all the parts. All right, so like I said before, those foam things, actually, I don't know what they were there for. I think they were just to protect these ends of the, the, the metal poles, but they're actually not part of it, so those are just over there. The only parts that it comes with is the top part, the back of the tricycle, and the front of the tricycle. So honestly, a much bigger box than is necessary, so kind of surprised about that, but let's go ahead and get into the setup process. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the first two steps uh, in one cut. There's only five steps, so super simple. The first thing that you want to do, which I've already done here, is Velcro these feet to the Velcro on these little plates here that are on the front piece labeled A. Now, one thing, and I will also cut this tag right here. One thing that I do notice about the ones that are in the store and about a lot of, uh, well, Davis TV's tricycle doll, I'm pretty sure, it, these are right here are posable, this connection, and a lot of times it might end up looking like this. And the leg doesn't actually bend that way, so you want to make sure that when you do it, you have it like that, and then it will look, it'll look better that way. Then you want to take this piece, this is the piece that actually is going to make it move. You want to loosen up this wing nut here, which I think it's already pretty much all the way loosened, until it fits into this connection, just like so. And then you want to screw in that wing nut until it holds the metal pole into place. And now we'll move on to step three. So we're already moving on to our last step. Definitely a super easy setup. You're gonna take your doll piece. It should be labeled C on there, and we'll take all those stickers off later. And then you're gonna go ahead and find the pole underneath of here, and you're gonna just use this little pin here, like all the seasonal visions props have. Push that in until you can get the pole to go over it. This one's a little bit tough here. Just give me a second. Screwdriver or something. I don't know, just want to push this pin in. I don't even know if you guys can see. There we go, just like that. And then when you look under here, you should see that it's connected and this pin has popped out. When you pull up, it doesn't come off. Then you want to lift the clothing up for a second. You're not quite there yet. You want to take this wire right here and go ahead and connect that to this wire coming on coming out from the back of the, the tricycle. Let's figure out which way this goes in. Uh, just like this, I think. Other way, maybe. Just like that. Should lock pretty easy into there. And um, then you want to go ahead and adjust the clothing, pull it down, and take these two, uh, well, they're already connected for me, but there is some Velcro on the back right here. So if that's, if that's not connected for you, go ahead and secure that so it looks good from the back. Go ahead and take all these stickers off, and then you're going to go ahead and take the hands. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. You're going to take the hands and attach them to, let's see which way the hand would go, like this, I think. The hands and Velcro them onto the the handlebars here, just like that. So your last step uh, after adjusting the clothing and everything is go ahead and go onto the back of it. You can see it has a battery pack right here. You're just gonna wanna go ahead and open that up. It just takes four double A's. And now we're ready to go ahead and set her off for the first time and that'll be it for this video. All right, guys, so there you have it. This is the 2017 Tricycle Doll. Super easy setup. Let's go ahead and activate her here.
super creepy. She's going to fit perfectly in my doll hallway with the peekaboo penny and menacing Molly and all the other creepy doll things that they have, all the little dolls and everything. She's going to be great. You don't even need a track for her. She just goes back and forth. So like, let's say we just put her right over on this side. If you guys haven't seen my layout video, this is the layout. Let's say we just put her right here on this side. She just goes straight back and forth. Not like the roaming dolls where you need a track or something like that. So super cool prop. That's all I've got for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.